So many people are going to want this event. The soul count will be insane. I don't know if I could grind it. That's why no one will remember your name. Yeah, guys, it's Darth Shigong, and welcome to another episode of Gaming on the Dark Side. And this week, he's here, Achilles! I'm looking forward to this event! <laughs> now, at the beginning of this recording right now, guys, just to give you a heads up, I don't know what this Titan looks like yet. We don't know the values. Um, that's going to be coming up in the video. So part of this video is going to be kind of like a live reaction to the skill sets. But I can tell you this, I am super excited, and right now the first part of this video is going to be all about theory on what Achilles will bring to the battlefield. Alright, so I'm going to start this video off first with kind of my hopes for this guy. Now granted, typically a, a, a titan that has a shield would be a guardian titan. But, we, you know, we just had a guardian titan with Ares, so I'm hoping... And, I mean, it'd be so awesome if the devs throw us a serious curveball here. And even though he's equipped with a shield and a sword, he has, get this, infiltrator skills. And he becomes a, our first solo physical titan in the realm of Jinshu and Nurgal and all those guys that can go out there and just destroy, right? This guy's going to go out there and just decimate but that's my hopes now you might be saying wait a second there's no precedent for that but think about this back when the almoron first came out he's a berserker now most time berserkers have two weapons right they're dual wielding well almoron only has the one so they are able to change the weapon sets for these guys and you can see that when they put divine weapon sets on, it changes their weapons. So I don't see any reason why we couldn't have a Titan that has a certain set of weapons, but has a completely different set of skills for this. And that's my hope, guys. Because, I mean, Achilles is like the premier warrior, right? This guy is the warrior of all warriors, unbeatable. And um, it would be fantastic to just see this guy charging the battle, decimating everything in front of it. And that's what I'm hoping for. Now, is it going to be that? Maybe, maybe not. Like, I'm just telling you guys my wish lists and my ideas on this. And I'm going to give you guys some reasons why I think this could be possible. All right. So, let's start off by taking a look at the war gods that they have here. Now, recently, right, we've had Hachiman here is a big dude. You got Ares, Nurgal, Tengu, Frigg, Sekhmet, and Toltec. Uh, even though... Toltec, for the most part, he got kind of the short end of the stick, didn't he? But that's beside the point. Anyways, guys, we're talking about straight-up war gods, and Achilles is definitely going to be falling within this little group here. Now, if you look at it, right, we've got infiltrators. We've got a paladin, a guardian. You've got a ranger, berserker, and a champion. So we got someone representing everything here. But when you look at it, some of these titans, they have quite an interesting skill set in the sense that they, for the most part, depending on how you use them, are awesome at attacking and are also really great at defense. Now, obviously, Hachiman up is going to be way up there, right? He's like the defender of choice for many people. However, Ares kind of came in, and I remember when he first came out, a lot of people were like all sleeping on him, saying, eh, Ares. But this guy has proven to be not only a very good attacker, right, and all, but also a very sticky defender for those that have the right relic set up for him and aren't necessarily in a league full of life sparks. So that's where we're coming from when it comes to this. Now, here goes my theory, though, when it comes to Achilles just being an insane attacker. All right, so... From my experience playing this game, it's almost like the devs kind of set it up a cycle, right? We're either going to have a whole bunch of attackers that are just nonstop, and unfortunately, it seems a lot of times 
you really work hard to get one this week, and then, what, a week or two later, they already have another attacker that blows that one out of the water. And they make the game where it's pretty much there's no defense, there's, it's just attack, 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 and there's nothing that's going to stop these guys. But then, you know, they'll toss in some defenders that if you really know what you're doing, you've got the right relics, are unstoppable. Now, I remember Hachiman really set that precedent. And, I mean, this guy has been pretty tough for a bit, and especially with the new meta, the way the meta goes now. And then, like I said, when Ares came in, um, I remember I was one of the guys that tried doing a video of trying to fight against him. I didn't have... Um, <laughs> it was kind of rushed. I didn't have all my troops ready and spells, and I got just killed by Ares. And I know there's guys out there that have way better setups, and they were able to kind of crush Ares in the beginning before he really came out, and that kind of turned a lot of people off to Ares. But like I said, now that he's been out for a bit and people have had a chance to play with him, they really realize that Ares really brought it. And, um, I mean, that's just kind of showing the, the direction the devs are going, man. They're really bringing out some titans that have some great utility, and they make it fun to play. Um, and like I said, with, with Achilles here, they have an amazing opportunity to do something with our physical troops, right? And our physical titan that they haven't done in a while. And like I said, I mean, I'm a big fan of solo infiltrator play. And, you know, you have Tengu, you have Nurgal, you got Jinshu. You got these guys that can go out there and just kill on their own with minimal troops. And I really, really want that for a physical Titan, especially with some of the relics that we have. Um, they just don't get used, right? And in this last event, you had that, oh, what, that Love's Arrow and all. We have those other Rage ones here. I can just see being able to equip those, these physical um, uh, relics, on top of Achilles. And if he, like I said, is an Infiltrator-style Titan, he will just destroy, especially if he has really great survivability. I mean, heck, in mythology, right, this guy's supposed to be pretty much invulnerable, other than like his Achilles, right, the Achilles heel, I should say. That's where you get that from, right, his heel. But I mean, otherwise, the guy is just an unstoppable warrior, and he was like unkillable. So, I mean, granted, I can understand how the devs can go both ways, right, and make him like basically unkillable, so he's like this guardian that's unstoppable. But, like I said, we just had some really good um, uh, defensive titans. I really want... Uh, just a crazy attacking titan that's fun to go out there and just just decimate and have a good time and for the beginner players right or the players that don't have a ton of divine gems to not have to go out and spend fifteen thousand gems or save up for a life spark you know um i mean it, there's nothing more annoying than not having that many gems and not having a titan that can like you know return the favor when somebody's just capping your lands and smacking your garrison around and you gotta you know ask around say hey man who who can take this guy out for me because he's got a hachiman or something on there that you just can't handle so being able to have a titan that can like you know crush a bit and do some damage and like you know help you return the favor dude i'm all about it right now and that would just bring some more fun to the game for me and i'm pretty sure a lot of other players that get frustrated by not having you know a titan that can take out um a hachiman or even an Ares or something like that guys because you guys don't have life spark or you don't have the right relics but if you can bring in a titan that you can like you know get in an event like this and earn and work out with and then put all the right relics on him and then go to battle you know and actually be able to, to have some fun and then get into that war a bit that would be so great right now. And, I mean, I'm hoping that the devs are taking that in consideration. That's why I kind of have my ideas here that that Achilles is just going to be a kick-butt titan. You know, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Like I said, so this is like my part one video. Part two is going to be coming out um, as soon as the blog drops and I'm able to look at what Achilles is. Um, in that video, I'm going to go into also breaking down the value and the cost of the event for my grinders and free-to-play players and everyone else and just show you, hey, this thing's worth going for or is it not worth going for? I, like I said, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, guys, that Achilles brings it to the battlefield. I hope he's not just a vanity titan that does absolutely nothing. Um, that would just bite. It would be, I think, a seriously missed opportunity by the devs right now man we need just a crazy good attacker that is available to players that do not have 15,000 gems or divine gems all right guys so once again 
This is uh, Darth Shigong with Gaming on the Dark Side. Make sure you guys check out my part two video. It'll be dropping as soon as that blog comes in, and I'll be giving you guys my thoughts and the breakdown. So be sure to check that out. Until then, I'll catch you later. Shigong.